long way to waste time. Some experts say it can be an addiction. Joining us now is Dr. Brian Boxer Wackler. He is joining us this morning to talk about a book that he has written called Influence the Impact of Social Media on Our Perception. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sylvia. Thanks for having me on the show. When I think of influencers and I think of social media and then, you know, they say it's an addiction, there is a lot to uncover here. What does it mean to be an influencer and how does that happen so that all of a sudden we're wrapped into this world? Great question. And first, I just want to explain, I wrote the book Influence as a 911 call to action for your viewers. I'm a Beverly Hills medical doctor. I'm an influencer with three and a half million followers, and I have a flaw. I became addicted to social media. And if this can happen to me, then it's very likely a lot of your viewers watching right now, and also their children and their teenagers can also become addicted. And that's why, Sylvia, I took it upon myself to do the research and be transparent about my own experience to mm -hmm. show you the tips and the tricks to avoid the problems that I had. And especially for parents with teenagers and kids who are especially susceptible to the addiction, this is an important book also with influence and in the information in it to help parents know when their kids are getting down that path of addiction. Mm -hmm. And so as an influencer, you know, to your question, we always want to, in the beginning process at least, grow our platform. And that's where we can go down that slippery slope of just wanting more and more. And users also have that same uh, effect as well because they're just scrolling and it's like literally playing the slot machine. Yeah. And it just has that addictive component too. Something, trying to scroll for something that uh, piques your interest, which we know you can spend hours doing that. So describe what does it mean to be addicted? How do you know if that's you? If you're waking up in the morning and you check your phone to see if you're missing out, FOMO, fear of missing out, that's a little bit of a red flag. And also if you're having to check your feed right before you go to bed. And if you're starting to get feedback from people in your life that, wow, you seem to be really, you know, spending so much time on social media and you're getting that um, information from people in your life that you care about that maybe, you know, the relationships are suffering. Those are some also red flags, too. So let's go back to talking about our children. When it comes to the impact that influencers are making, it seems like kids can be addicted very easily. So parents at home watching want to know what should they be on the lookout for and what can they do to make sure that doesn't happen? Well, children's brains and teenagers' brains are still developing until about age 25, so they don't have the same critical thinking skills that adults do, and that makes them really susceptible to those influences on social media. In fact, in the book Influence, there's a whole chapter that I have called Hooked on Clicks, and also why young people are so susceptible called Easy Prey. That's another chapter that goes into that. Okay, again, the name of the book is Influence, the Impact of Social Media and Our Perception. Dr. Brian, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thanks for being with me as well, Sylvia. You take care.